Hi, I'm Becky from Geosoft. In this video, I will show you how to add data to your Voxy project using the default options. I'm going to start by creating a Voxy project from a voxel. After defining the area of interest of your Voxy project, you're ready to add the data. Click Yes to add data right away, or if you want to inspect your mesh first, click No. You can add your data at any time by right-clicking on Data and selecting Add Data. For data source, you have the option of adding data from a database or a grid. If you select grid, it will automatically save your grid to a database and you will notice that the rest of the options are the same as adding data from a database. For this example, I will be adding data directly from a database. Select your magnetic or gravity survey database. Because the X and Y channels are already defined in the database, they are recognized and automatically set in the data source window. For elevation definition, you have the option to select the sensor elevation channel from your database, which is the elevation above sea, sea level, or the sensor elevation above terrain channel, for example the radar altimeter channel. In this example, I'm using the sensor elevation channel. Make sure that the option Optimize Data Sampling is selected. With this option, you can decimate your data if it is highly sampled compared to the voxel size. For samples per cell, use the default and recommended value of 1 to decimate your data to one sample per cell, then click Next. For the measurements dialog, you can select what kind of model to create, density, susceptibility, or vector magnetization. In this example, we will create a susceptibility model. Select the field data channel from your database. The default error value is 5% of the standard deviation for the selected data channel. For susceptibility models, you can change the IGRF information. If the survey date is stored in your database, the information is automatically loaded. Otherwise, you must manually enter the date of the survey to calculate the IGRF. For this example, the IGRF is already calculated and we are going to accept the default values. Click Next. From the Background Removal dialog, you can remove a constant background from your data or linear trend. If you choose Linear Trend, the values to remove are calculated automatically. This will remove the long wavelength that may be found in your data. I'm going to select Remove a Linear Trend for this example. On the right you will see the summary of the statistics of your data that you are adding to your Voxy project will change with your selection. Click Finish. Your selected data is added to the model as shown in the Voxy viewer. Note that now the Run Inversion button is enabled. In this video, you can see how to add data to a Voxy model using default values. Thanks for watching, and you can access our website at www.geosoft.com for more information.